President Barrow got a taste of what it is like to live in Nyanija, driving through dust roads to Buduk, several kilometers of the main highway. The poor condition of the road, which is the main gateway to the rest of the world, was a sober reminder of the expectations of these people who have long complained of its bad state. But President Barrow did not lose sight of this fact, reassuring the people that this government will undertake steps to address the problem. There is a lot being said about the difficulties in Nyanija, with many saying that Nyanija is in a hole, and I now understand what it means. Because when we were coming, I was wondering whether we were lost or not. We have now seen for ourselves the road conditions here. The rest are so that there is a new government in the Gambia. The poor condition of the road is just one of the problems confronting the people of Nyanja. Lack of access roads to the rice fields, according to Mama Duba, a village elder, is also taking a toll on the lives of the women. The women of Nyanija are under tremendous hardship and many get old quickly due to the difficulties of fetching water, boarding of childbirth and lack of access road to the rice fields. This affects their health and makes them old quickly. The president listened keenly and repeated his strong desire to transform the lives of rural people who have given him a strong mandate. He however urged patience, arguing that given the enormity of the challenges, it would take time to meet these expectations. The president and entourage then proceeded to Panchang, where he will also hold a similar meeting with villagers. <laughs> Come on, Rijalo. GRTS News.